Hey guys, today we are continuing our saying farewell to everything at Epcot that is going away. Uh, today we're having lunch at Electric Umbrella. And that is of course in Future World. It will be closing later this year in 2019. It's not part of these September 8th closings. Uh, I'm excited to eat here because I've never eaten here. It's just always kind of been low on the list in comparison to everywhere else there is to eat at Epcot. So it is a quick service location, so we're probably going to get a hamburger or something like that. I am going to show you around the restaurant, uh, look at some of those classic decorations in there. And then of course I'll let you know how I like the food and if I'm going to miss it now that it's closing very soon. So let's get on over to the electric umbrella. energy salad. It's a salad with what looks to be some like creamy kind of light vinaigrette type dressing with grilled chicken on it but it's also got things like some blueberries and looks like chunks of like feta cheese in there. So it looks like it's got a lot of good things if you want something a little healthier and more refreshing. This is the beef brisket sandwich. It's got some nacho cheese on top. It looks like the nacho cheese has some sort of spice in it. So we'll see how that is. I just took a bite of this brisket sandwich and it's so far exceeded my expectations. The bun is very warm and soft. The brisket is peppery. I taste a lot of pepper in this. The brisket is not dry at all, very juicy. The cheese texture is very thick. It's not like a kind of dippable, runnier nacho cheese. So that kind of threw me off because it's very thick. But overall, really good quick service sandwich here at Electric Umbrella. And I actually take that back. It is a, it, this is a beer cheese on top of this brisket sandwich, which could explain the, the texture of it. The beer cheese is a little bit thicker. And it probably adds to the flavor as well. It's kind of weird to be as obsessed as I am with this bun, but it's just so fresh. Look how, ten, look how kind of squishy it is. This does not seem like a bun that's been sitting on a quick service shelf all day. If you are gonna get this sandwich, I would, you know, put some makeup on, uh, maybe some cologne, because you're gonna get very intimate with this sandwich. <laughs> the cheese has gotten on my nose, it's all over my face. So it's a very messy uh, meal, and just the texture of this beer cheese is like glue. Like, you get it on your face and it like sticks there. So that part is kind of, um, that part is kind of taking it down a notch in my book. that today was a nicer day because I would totally be sitting out under this covered area of the electric umbrella with the Fountain of Nations 
behind me. We did get a nice seat upstairs though, and I did kind of wish we were by the window, but still, it's a really cool view. I've never sat up there in that upstairs area of the electric umbrella, so that was a cool view as well. I did try a few bites of Bryce's salad, and it was really good. Lots of good ingredients in there. The dressing was light and refreshing and things like feta and blueberry were in there, so a really like high quality salad here. My sandwich was good, it was just kind of, the texture of that beer cheese really was kind of off-putting. They do have another sandwich here that I would like to try if we do get back to the electric umbrella before it closes for good later this year, 2019. So maybe in this fall time, I'll be able to sit out here in this nice patio area and experience the restaurant under here, although things like the Fountain of Nations will be closed by then, unfortunately. Well, thanks for joining us here for lunch at the Electric Umbrella. It was kind of like stepping into a time capsule. It seems like the this restaurant just never kind of evolved. It just stayed with that classic Epcot look that I love and I'm definitely going to miss as Epcot changes and transforms. So stay tuned, we may be back here to try uh, a different dish here before it goes away. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to follow us for more around Florida.